is Santa Claus real? That's a question I get a lot. In fact, I got a note from a subscriber that says, Snaltz, you are a sellout ho, ho, ho. That's not it. Okay, here we go. Uh, from Sophia, uh, Muggle Sam, uh, Nultz is Santa Claus real? Now, I know that this has been addressed before by Francis Church, columnist years ago that wrote this beautiful piece, Yes, Virginia, Virginia Han uh, Hanlon, There is a Santa Claus. And he wrote this dreamy prose about, you know, skeptical little kids and love and devotion and poetry and romance. But I, I think it, this piece is uh, arcane or archaic a bit. And I... Um, partially because it's just kind of dreamy language and partially because it's using the written word which is all but extinct. So I'm going to address the three areas that I think people struggle with in their belief of Santa Claus. Number one is sort of evidence to the contrary through other kids or something they may have seen. Number two is the sheer logistical difficulty of flying reindeer and him covering the whole uh, globe. And then the third is, you know, why isn't Santa giving gifts to everybody? Why are some poor countries not um, getting it? So I'm going to present my information uh, for all three. On the front of, you know, uh, information I've read, like if you Google Santa, um, you know, there's this NorthPole.com site, which I do not think is real because I did a Who is search on it, and it was listed by some Jim Clutter, who's out of Georgia or something. So I think, I don't think that's a real site. Um, and I also don't think some of the small Santas are real. I think there's helpers. Um, but then, and you go to Wikipedia, and they refer to Santa Claus as a legend or a myth. Um, which translates to he's not real. Um, but they do say that St. Nick um, is a historical person. Now the people, I looked at the notes tab so you can see who's chiming in on this, and there were two, Padilla and Cosmic Latte that are saying he's not real. And duh, they were on the naughty list, so of course they're going to say that, or they, maybe they didn't get a gift that, uh, that they wanted. So um, now let's get to the issue of logistics. Yes, it's hard to imagine flying reindeer, but it's also hard to imagine a flying bird if you've never seen one, or a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl, we know those are real. Um, and then the other thing, too, it's also logistically difficult to think of if it was our parents. What do they do? They pull all the parents together at some point and say, shh, you give the gifts and we'll pretend it's a Santa Claus. Like, I always wondered like how they would have done that to my parents, and I'm a parent now, and I never got that talk. So, and my kids are still getting gifts for Christmas. Um, so, you know, and kids walk around with all sorts of things. Like, they used to say if I do that, it would stick. It never stuck. My daughter last night said, if you push this into your, your, your skull, it'll, you know, kill you or something. And that never happened. My sister used to say, when I would scoot down and make my face all red, she'd say, you're going to die. That never happens. So kids do say stupid things. And then sometimes people find things, you know, maybe they find a web page that their parents went to, and then they find uh, that gift. My sister once found a strawberry shortcake doll in my parents' uh, closet, and then later got that from Santa Claus. And she was pretty sure that something wasn't right there. We later found out years later when we confronted my parents with this, is that they had already purchased the strawberry shortcake doll to give to her. And then once Santa saw that, the, Santa didn't bring another gift. So they said, well, let's just let Santa take credit for the, for the uh, strawberry shortcake doll. And then finally, the most difficult one is, if I was Santa, I would like to think I'd give everybody the same amount of toys to try to keep it fair. I try to do that with my own kids. But I can only assume that Santa's operating like taxes. Like if you, if you make a lot of money, you pay more taxes. If you make a little money, you pay less taxes. So it makes sense that for really rich kids that are spoiled, that Santa has to bring more stuff to introduce new joy because little, little toys you know, would be irrelevant to them. And that in a poor country where people are really struggling, that even a little bit of food or some kind act could be just as joyful. So I think Santa's looking to increase the joy, um, and that's how he distributes his gifts. Um, and maybe it's because you know some regions have lost hope, but I, I, I choose to think the former. So, um, again, I don't think anybody can offer definitive proof that Santa Claus doesn't exist, and it's hard to prove that Santa Claus does exist, but consider those facts as you will. And uh, if you have any other thoughts, comment below or make your own video. Um, but uh, yeah, my, my, my choice is to believe in Santa Claus. Um, 
I think uh, I think as long as you believe in Santa Claus, he exists. And uh, I feel sad for people that doubt him, and uh, you know they end up on the naughty list and you know trashing up Wikipedia with uh, lies or trying to make their friends believe that there is no Santa Claus, and that's kind of sad. So let's believe, like an elf, and uh, give Santa uh, even more energy. And have a great Merry Christmas, Virginia, or Sophia. Ho, ho, ho!